Hello, Kara Sheftel with Boston Document Systems. We got a note from Rajesh on our YouTube channel. He wanted to know how you could set up a similar function to the ID card copy that we have here under copying for scanning. ID card copy, if you don't know what it is, it's really great. You can scan both sides of an ID and it will show up on a single piece of paper. I am assuming the question is, can we do both sides of an ID, have it trimmed down and fit into one PDF? The answer is, of course. Let me show you how to set that up. The first thing that we need to know is that your platen glass cannot trim down a document that's super, super small automatically because it does not have enough sensors. It has a lot, just not that many for that small of a piece of paper. So what we're gonna do is go into our system menu and we're going to do device settings and we're going to set up original scan settings. Now you can see that normally we can auto detect the original size and we do want that as a default, however, we're going to set today a custom original size. I'm going to turn this on. Um, this is around the size of the dimensions of an ID. You'll note here that the X is the length and Y is the height. When you hit OK, the numbers are going to change position. Do not freak out. They are correct. OK, don't freak out. They are correct. So we're going to hit close. And we're gonna hit close again. And we're gonna go back to the home screen where we find our send function. There's a couple of things that we need to turn on. I am not going to add an address yet. I'm going to create the shortcut for this because maybe there are more people in your office. It's just me at home with my copier, but maybe there's a lot of people in your office and they wanna be able to send, the, use this scan function again and again. I'm leaving an address off. If you are, however, sending IDs to the same place every single time, you can certainly select something from the address book before you save it as a favorite. But today, this is how we're gonna do it. I'm gonna hit the down arrow button and I'm gonna make sure that I turn continuous scan on. This means that when I lift my platen glass, I hit send, um, or start, it gives me a chance to lift the platen glass and flip the ID over and get the second half in one PDF. If I don't turn on continuous scan, then I'm gonna get separate PDFs, which is not as fun. So that, then we're gonna do original size. We're gonna select others and we're gonna select custom one, which is our three and a half by four which we had already set up. The last thing that we need to do is make sure that the orientation of our scan is correct. We wanna make sure that it says top edge on top. This allows us to slide the ID into place and hit start and have it come up with the correct orientation. So now I have this, I'm gonna hit favorites, and now I'm gonna click add. It's gonna take all of the settings that I've just identified and allow them to be registered as a favorite. I'm going to make this one ID space card space scan. And this is what's gonna allow us to save it to the top screen. So now we hit um, enter, we register, and then if we keep our hands away from our device, it's gonna let us add it to the home screen. If you go too fast, then you miss this chance. And I think it's super helpful to be able to add your favorite shortcuts to your device. Here we go. I'm gonna hit okay. Now that I've selected where I want it, I'm gonna hit close. And I wanna test this exactly how it is. So I'm going to go back to the home. I'm going to hit ID card scan. Wonderful. I do need an address this time. So I'm going to pick me. I'm going to hit close. Now I have already lifted my platen glass and I have put my ID up in the corner, top left against the guides. It's going to scan one page and now it's going to say, hey, do you have more pages? I can scan the next originals after I've flipped over that ID, or I can hit the start button. 
it's going to scan it. And so now you see I have two scanned pages and not just one. And then I'm going to click finish scan. What this is going to do is now send it off to my email and I will show you what I have. Now, I did not scan an ID because that is my personal information. What I did do is scan my coffee club card. So that's going to pop right into my email as you can see. And now I'm going to open this glorious PDF and you can see that I have a trimmed down scan of my coffee club card. I don't know why I would need a scan of that, but there it is nonetheless. So I just want to reiterate what we did today, which was we set up the ID card scan function on our copier. If you would like more information about your Kyocera 4 series device or all of the neat functionality that you can set up, you can like and follow our channel, or you can reach us at bdsdoc.com. Thanks so much, Rajesh, for the question. Happy to help.